Hey folks, welcome to Bushcraft Rent, and today we're going to be talking about knots. Now the first knot I want to talk to you guys about is the clove hitch. So the easiest way to do a clove hitch, I think, is to make a loop, make another loop in the same direction, pass it underneath, put it through. Another way is you pass this over, underneath, cross it, underneath, Put it through that cross you made. And snug it up like that. You can take it one step further by making um, just a simple overhand knot, like so. And that will keep it from uh, actually. Uh, loosening on you because that is the number one problem with the clove hitch is it likes to loosen on you. You are making an extra little knot on the end like that and you save it from passing through. And the second knot I want to talk to you guys about is the bow line. So you'll want to make a backwards J like that. Twist this piece so that uh, that this piece runs underneath this here. Pass this piece through. Come underneath. Over the whole mess. Pinch it here. Pinch it here. You pull. There you have it. Now the good thing about this is that it doesn't get any wider but it doesn't get any shorter either. And uh, uh, with enough practice, you can even make a step ladder, or more or less uh, a rope ladder. Now this next one is called the double sheet bend. It's for joining two separate pieces together, or uh, making a loop out of one long piece. So you want to make a hook like that. Take your other, take your other piece of cordage, and from the underneath you go through. Pass it behind, and on top of your first piece that come through. Hold the pieces like that. And you snug. The good thing about this one is they don't have to be the same size uh, to go through it all. And the knot's actually quite tight. This next knot. This next knot is called a press pull knot. And uh, the idea behind this is um, you put it through like that underneath, take your other piece, and you just make a loop once, twice. Make sure the pieces don't overlap. And on the third time, you pass it through this way. And what that does is it makes it very simple to move up and down the line. And uh, 
Traditionally, this was made for uh, rock climbers so that uh, they can move it up and down, but also with too much force, it'll snug itself up and bind itself and uh, keep it from plunging to your death. Although, I think there's a lot more uh, re reliable methods nowadays. Okay, the tout line. So, this piece goes around, and it doesn't have to go, it doesn't necessarily have to go around anything, it's just an aid to help you to do it. Um, you do an overhand knot, you take this, you go underneath, underneath, through the hole, underneath, and this time just straight through the hole. You don't go underneath the second time. And this one is kind of hard to uh, to tighten up into your knot. Once you get it, you have a line that snugs up, and uh, with a little force, it loosens itself up too. You can use this to drive a stake. Uh, you can use this as a guy line with a stake driven into the ground to hold up your tent. Or, if you're lucky enough, you may be able to use it as a snare. So let's just say I fall over and break my tripod and I need to make one out of a selfie stick, plastic stick, and a wooden dowel. I would make a quick overhand knot like this and just pass under, over, over, under and just continue this pattern for as long as I see fit then I go over like this tie this together This one, tighten that, and then through here, but the one I started the overhand knot, I will end with an overhand knot. And there I have my tripod, and to set it up, I cross that over. There you have it. Now this one is the barrel hitch. You throw your bucket on top like that. Grab your lens. And just make an overhand knot on top of it like so. You want to get the middle of this on this side of the brim, the other on the other side of the brim. This is kind of tricky to do when you got a slippery nylon rope like mine. But it's basically what you get. This is great even if your bucket does still have a handle. Slouch it because you can put it right over your shoulder and uh, carry things a lot easier. You're not, uh, you're not taking an arm away from yourself. I've still got both arms to collect things. Good, strong. I like it, it makes sense. So, if you're still with me at this point, you got the patience of a saint. This next one's going to be the trucker hitch, and I'm not good at this one at all. You, uh, I'm going to start out with that shape, make a loop, pass it through, you can put this down here just 
to get it out of the way, make it easier for yourself. This piece is going to come over, under, and through. And you might want to snug it up now, make it easier for yourself down the road. Then this tail end goes through whatever you're hitching to. chain. It's going to go through here. Then, just a series of uh, snug loops. Slip knots, maybe. There you have it. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, hope you had fun learning about knots. Until next time, Bushcraft Brent, out.